Vice President Mike Pence touched down in the Hoosier State today to talk business and agriculture with farmers. Just got back from Boone County just a few minutes ago, where Mr. Spent, Mr. Pence spent about 90 minutes talking trade and jobs. Here at Lamb Farms in Lebanon and Boone County, Hoosier farmers shared their concerns about global trade. The farmers were separated into three groups, corn, soybeans, and livestock. Vice President Mike Pence joined their conversations, answered questions, and listened to feedback. We had questions about the impact of trade on Hoosier jobs. Sir, you had the opportunity to be the governor of the state, so you know Indiana farming well. You know one in, one in seven jobs are connected to agriculture. So as you heard from the farmers today, what do you say to them? What do you, how do you convey that this is a critical issue for the state? Well, one, one in four of our pork uh, uh, production here in the state of Indiana is exported out of the country. Well, our promise to the people of Indiana, to agriculture all across this country, is that we're working every day to expand markets for agricultural products, for what we grow, what we raise. The U.S. trade agreement with Mexico and Canada is known as USMCA. It's supposed to replace what is called NAFTA when and if Congress decides to vote on it. Hoosier farmers do billions of dollars in trade with both Mexico and Canada. And the New Deal may expand what is sold in both countries. We want to make sure the trade deal is fair and equitable, but we also want to get this done uh, in, in a condensed amount of time. Us city folks, we see the corn grow, we see the cows out in the pasture. What's really happening behind the scenes that we're not seeing? Behind the scenes, you're seeing some prices take effect. All right, so we have a lower corn market and soybean market, so that means the price that we sell our corn and soybeans for is lower than what we have had over the past several years. So in our state, there are more than 50,000 farm, farms, and many farmers are also concerned with the ongoing trade war with China. Mr. Penn says that while he was in Lebanon, that the president was in talk with China's leader working on a trade deal with that country.